Hello, this is Steve from Beto's Leatherworks. And today's project is this beautiful pair of John Lobb shoes. Now, the customer um, sent these in and um, he wanted to do JR full soles and heels. Um, he wanted to do the blind stitch. He wants to do French tip. Also, he wants to put a company design right here, which is a clothespin. And uh, we're going to basically outline that with, with silver nails. Um, dye it uh, blue, like a s sapphire blue or med medium blue, not really navy, not really dark. I guess that's his company color. That's his requirements. And then we're going to clean and polish everything up and uh, make it look good again. Um, some of you guys are asking me about where I'm recording from. Basically, this is the front counter. This is what the customer sees when they come in. All right, let me just show you guys around. Let me move the camera around to show you what's around here. You get a better idea of what it looks like. Basically this is the front counter right here. I've got two counters. This one basically looks like a trunk. It's not It's not a steamer trunk but I made it look like a steamer trunk. Just covered it up and it made it look like it's a steamer trunk. Now on the right side over here basically got some retail space. Okay, Some retail space, an old Singer sewing machine, some laces, family photos, another Singer sewing machine right there, some family photos right here. This is of my father when he was in his younger years. He used to be a shoemaker. That's basically a shop with his friends and co-workers. This is a painting I did 1999 as you can see by the date. Now, Vache is my middle name, V-A-T, it's a silent T, Vache. But when we moved, first moved to the States, you know, the that's my middle name. So my first name is Stepan. People call me Steve. When we first moved to the States, it was it was just, they said, well, his name is Steve. So it kind of stuck by me, and, and so be it. So my name is Steve. But most people know me as, um, as Vache. My close friends know me as that. My, by my middle name. So you get an idea of, of basically what, what the front shop looks like. Um, it's, um, it's pretty well organized. I mean, yeah, the back sometimes, the workbench area gets a little bit crazy because we're doing work. It's a work area. But I do organize it once in a while. And, um, and I did that before I started videotaping. So when I show you guys in the back, it's nice and clean. All right, so let's get started. All right, so right from the start, let you guys know the price of this job. This is a five hundred and five dollar job. I get a little bit of fancy, you know. And there's a lot of guys out there who do this kind of work, but they don't do too many fancy stuff. I, on the other hand, the fancier it is, the better it is for me. Well, some people just don't know how to do it. They're just not. They don't have that creativity, you know. They do good work, you know, but they do basic, basic work. It's not, it's not creative work. I, I like creativity. I, I, I think if you cut me open, the creativity will flow out of my blood. That's just how I do things. I see things differently. I don't know why. I don't know how. I just do. So this one, the tongue is loose right there. So basically, when we when we get a chance, we'll go ahead and restitch that. Now, the, what that does is basically when you when you lace it up, that tongue doesn't go to the right or left, which it's notorious, and most shoes will do that. This way, one side is sewn, it'll kind of stay put. All right, let's continue. I like John Lobb shoes. I've got a few pairs. I've got a few pairs of my own, and they're very, um, very good quality shoes. Now they are different. There are different. Um, there are different levels of John Lobb, right? You can you can get them get them ready-made wear. I think it's what they're called. 
and um, also you can custom order them. MTOs like made to order, and there's there's lots of options, but they're not cheap. They're I think they're anywhere from like 800 to I mean they go you know four or five thousand for the exotics if not, I'm not mistaken, maybe more. Not sure. But it's a good quality shoe. got this. Don't jinx me now. Okay. Now the cork looks the cork looks to be in pretty good shape. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and change it anyway because um, I mean might as well you know we're taking this apart. Now these are the nails that are holding the heel base on. Okay. Now some guys, what they'll do is they'll they'll cut it and they'll leave it in there. I, I don't like that. Now I'm cutting it just so I can get a flat surface so I can hammer it through the inner soles. See, basically, it comes through there, and we'll pull it out. It's a threaded nail, or ring shank nail is what it's called. And they're pretty sturdy, but I don't like leaving I don't like leaving them in there. Because what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have to re-secure the heel base back on with new nails. And now you've got a bunch of nails on the on the insole there that you know shouldn't be there. As minimum as possible. There's no reason. There's no reason to leave them in there, other than shortcut, which is not good. Don't do that. Even though the customer is not going to see it, but I guess if you can live with yourself, whatever. Each is own. I'd rather not leave it like that. Now. Again, the cork seems to be in pretty good shape, but I gotta inspect to make sure that the shank is not shank is not broken. Shank looks to be in okay shape. But I'm gonna remove this cork anyway. Some people say if it looks good, leave it alone. I mean, why? He's doing all this work. You know, take it out and replace it. So this is what you got. Okay, wooden shank. This is the heel rand. Good shape. Everything stays the same. We're going to re-glue this in there. It's a little loose. Okay, we'll just re-glue that shank in there so it doesn't move. Alright, let's continue. So we've got a big piece of leather. It's called a bend. Okay, it's JR leather. Okay, and um, I'm going to cut a pair of soles out of this hide because we don't want to have the JR logo right in the middle right there. I think it'll make it, not that the customer requested it, but I think it just makes it a nice even look when we have that that logo in the shank area and also the, the, the French tip. It'll give it a nice seamless look. I've got plenty of uh, pre-cut soles that's got JR logo on there, but I think um, I think with this job, I think this will look a little better with not, without the logo. Now they do have they do have um, pre-cuts that are not stamped. Okay, I just don't have those. Most of the pre-cuts I have have the stamp on it, so so unfortunately. I don't want to use that. I want to use this one here. So, 
Let's see if we can cut this. Rough cut will be all right, and we'll just we'll just round it off. I think this is the dull knife. Voila! And there she goes. Alright, let's continue. So this is what we call fancy work. You guys can see that? This is the, basically the, the logo that the customer wanted, which is a clothespin. And this is the beginning of that design. So basically, took a rendering of that, made it smaller, scaled it down to the sole size, and um, and just sat there and with a little pick, picked at it. Yeah, it's tedious work, but you know what? The guy's paying $500 for full soles and heels. Which is unheard of in this, in this industry. Well, it's not unheard of here, but... We're going to do what, exactly what he wants. I mean, I, I mean, look, I don't, I don't pat myself on the back, but there aren't too many guys who are doing jobs like this. There's a lot of guys who repair shoes, yes, and and some of them are pretty good, they are. But unfortunately, the you know most of them undervalue their work, if that makes sense. I mean, if you're doing good work, good quality work, you need to get paid for it. I always hear, oh, Steve, you've got the location. That couldn't be furthest from the truth. I could be doing this in a barn and having people mail me work in. I would still do the same kind of work. I mean, I get walk-in customers, too, yes. You know? And not all of my jobs are $500. No, I get the $20 jobs. You got people coming in, they want small jobs, and I do those too. But specialty work, I mean, it's time-consuming, detailed work. You need to get paid for it. I just don't understand some people. Anyway, whatever. To each is... Oh, how do they say it? To each is to own... Something like that. I know my business, and that's all I know. All right, so we've got that drying, and we're not going to sit there and watch it, okay? But you know what time it's going to be when I come back. <laughs> look at that. Look, 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 look. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, backwards. Ah! <laughs> the sucker never stays where I want it to stay. It's going to be hammer time. <laughs> All right, you know, too much serious talk. That's not good. Let's lighten the mood up a little bit. All right, let's continue.
All right, so let's make sure that this is centered so all my hard work doesn't go. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Got to make sure that we are all lined up. Okay. Pretty big feet, you know. I didn't realize how big they are. 12 E. Hmm, sure looks a little, it looks awfully long. 12. All right. Man, she is going to look good. She's going to look very, very good. Oh, I did pick the stitches from the welt, by the way. I didn't show you guys, but I did. I can't show you guys everything, can I? I can? No, I can't. I can't, I'm telling you. If I show you guys everything, then you guys might come down the street, open up a shop, and take my business away. God forbid. I got to feed my kids. I take care of my kids. <laughs> you guys want to hear another hammer time? Or should we just enough enough for this time? Alright, one more time. Alright, encore. Oh, encore it is. Alright. Again, let's make sure that everything is lined up good. Hmm. Where's the heel? Right. You going sucker? You gonna get away that easily? <laughs> Is you crazy? All right, good. Hey, what's with some of you guys making a comment on my my rear? Don't think I didn't read that. I photoshopped that. I kept those comments. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Although that would be funny. It wasn't intentional, me like bending over trying to... I was reaching for something and you're all like... Steve's been and never got a rear in the big camera. It wasn't intentional, let me tell you. But <laughs> thank you for the compliments. <laughs> oh my god, I cracked myself up. Alright, that's enough of that. I gotta you know this last is getting on my nerves. This is not supposed to move. I hate when it moves. I gotta lock the sucker in here somehow. Oh god, that noise is just drives me up the wall. Oh I'll stick something in there so it doesn't move. Alright, let's continue. Oh 
god, that noise. Oh my god. That's how we do the blind stitch. Cool, huh? So once we stitch that, we put some glue in there, and uh, we're going to close the channel back. That's what we call a blind stitch. If you can't see it, once it's covered up. And there she goes. She is closed. Once the trimming gets done around the edges, you'll never see you'll never see that opening. Cool. She's getting there. Not bad. Let's continue. So when it's at this stage right here, once we've got 
once we got it stitched we've glued the leather back down now we get to trim the edges okay now what some people do they'll go ahead and just sand this and then they, they'll smooth it out as best as they could um, I don't do it that way I use a trimmer for my for my um, edge, edges basically this is a this is a trimmer trimmer blade is what it's called okay now this spins very fast now it trims just like that all right guys just like that okay now the edge of the trimmer here just that little bit of edge there's a little indentation there where when it gets finished trimming this is the edge of the sole it leaves a little lip right on the edge of the sole that's what you get with the trimmer blade not with sanding the edges if you sand the edges then you don't have that little lip okay now once once it's trimmed this is the heating iron okay same shape as that so once you trim the shoe with the trimmer blade you let the heating iron heat up, you put some wax in it, and you burnish the edges. Okay? That little indentation on the trimmer blade, it's on the heating iron also, and that'll leave it that little lip. I'll show you guys once it gets done. It it to me that is the that's that's what makes the job a nice job. That a nice nice little bead at the end. We call it a little lip at the end of the sole okay on the edge of the sole all right let's continue now we get to sit down for a few minutes oh lordy lordy lord and just basically get ourselves a piece of sandpaper all right wet the edges down just a little water And do this for however many minutes we need to. It's all in the details. Now, the lip is there, okay? So when I'm holding the sandpaper, I'm holding the end up a little bit so it doesn't rub against the lip of the that design there I know it's just it's just you know it's not a structural issue right it's really not it's all aesthetics now on most of the higher end shoes you will notice that that little lip on there it doesn't serve a structural purpose it's just that little detail of the job of the shoe and most people wouldn't notice it <laughs> they could care less what the edge looks like well at this level yeah the customers know they definitely do especially on a job on a shoe like this All right, let's continue. All righty. We are on the last leg of this project. Can't forget the coffee. I mean, you know. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of shine today. <laughs> no, you don't see the bottom just yet.
again, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do mirror shine, mirror gloss. We've talked about that before. I'm not, uh, I haven't perfected that yet. Nor do I have the time to to put into it. So when I come back, I'm going to show you guys the whole project, okay? I'll continue this for maybe about 15, 20 minutes until I finish my coffee. Oh, shaking already. You guys remember that I didn't, um, I cut down my caffeine. I don't know if you guys have noticed I stopped shaking that much. Not really. <laughs> oh boy. These are gorgeous shoes. All right, let's continue. All right, welcome back. We are done with another project. I mean, I think they turned out really good. I'm very happy. I don't think I came across anything that that I disliked about the job. Um, I think everything turned out very well. Um, now, this heel pattern, the customer didn't request that. I just added that on there because I, th I thought it would look good and, and I think it does look good. Now, I think there's over over 300 nails per shoe, okay? Um, the customer's request was to do the blind stitch, French tip, these are called Lulu tips, um, blue finish, um, and also the clothespin as a logo on the bottom of the shoe. Um, I'm guessing it's a company logo and the color is their color, the bluish hue, uh, and um, and I think that we um, we gave exactly what the customer wanted and then some. Okay, now again, this job was five hundred five dollar job. Um, we basically this would be considered as a fancy job, you know. Uh, again, um, we've talked about this. There's a lot of guys who do who do work and and either they don't know how to do fancy work or or they don't want to do it, you know. Um, to me, the fancier it is, the better it is, the better I like it, and um, I think the end result shows itself. So, thank you again for joining me. I appreciate it. Why don't you guys subscribe if you haven't, and um, share, comment, do whatever you do. We appreciate it, and gives me, give me a thumbs up too. Now, there's still 62% of you guys who haven't subscribed, but it's okay. Last time was like 75, so it's getting better. I appreciate it. All right, so um, I've got many more projects to come. Um, there's there's lots and lots and lots of um, things to do to videotape, but slowly I'll take, I won't take my time, but I've got to keep up with the rest of the work that's coming in to catch up on that, and then um, we'll do another video real soon. All right, thank you very much. We'll see you again. Take care.